Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my like household home accessory like favorites. Some of my favorite videos to film and some of your guys' like most requested videos, I guess would say, um, are like my favorite products. Whether it's like makeup or clothing or whatever it is. On Instagram, I definitely get a lot of questions about like where I get things and just some of my favorite things. So I figured I would do a few different videos now that I'm back on YouTube. And I wanted to start with just like my household or like home or room decor favorites. And then after this video, I'll probably do like a clothing staples, like an updated one, and then like a skincare, makeup, beauty product favorite roundup. So basically have just put together like a little list nothing crazy it's all just like little accessories that just really finish off a space or just make things look so much better in my opinion i mean i moved in with my boyfriend i'd say a little like a year ago and this room was just a guest bedroom and i've turned it into like my office slash closet and i've had so much fun like decorating it it's definitely not done by any means but i've just had a lot of fun buying little things that i already would buy and then just kind of like styling them because the space itself is very small so whether you're in a dorm or an apartment or you live at home or it's even just your own place like a lot of these things they don't take up a lot of space but they're ways to just kind of like amp up your area and they really just kind of like say a lot about your style and your personality but I'm not going to be mentioning any like furniture or like I said, like anything big. It's all just like pretty small little items. With that being said, I will have everything linked down below. And I hope you guys enjoy. And then also at the very end of this video, I will go ahead and like film a little clip of one of my tables that has have that has most of these things on it. Just so you guys can see. So let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is actually something that I received from this company it's not this video is not sponsored they didn't pay me to say this but i didn't pay for this they sent it to me so i'm really big into flowers every sunday my boyfriend and i go to the farmer's market and i buy flowers usually lilies because those last the longest for me i love hydrangeas but when i buy them they die in four hours so as you can see i have my beautiful ass vase <laughs> that everyone always asks about if i can find a link for it somewhere online i will link it down below i got it a while ago and it usually has flowers in it but i didn't go to the farmer's market last week because i needed to sleep in but i don't like when i don't have flowers in here like now that i'm used to having flowers usually like two vases in here with flowers when there aren't any i'm like something's wrong so i would actually already been looking for one of those kind of like permanent flower arrangements but some of them looked either too fake like they just looked like plastic or they were just so expensive that I was like, uh, I just don't even care. So when this company had reached out to me, I'd already been looking for a flower arrangement that kind of went around, went with the theme of my room and that I liked. So I was so happy because immediately I knew exactly which flowers I liked from them. So this is the brand is called Rose Forever New York. And what I loved about this was that it came in an acrylic box because I just think it looks so clean and like just it just really matches with my room versus like I think they, ha they have other like cases depending on your style but for me I just loved the acrylic box um I also love this shade of baby blue I didn't want anything like pink or red or anything um my room is like neutral but I have obviously like my bags and like other things that are pops of color so I wanted it to be like a fun color but still pretty neutral so I felt like this blue was like literally perfect and I absolutely love it on my table so I'll show you guys at the end but everything about this was like perfect you can take the lid off if you want to just like display the flowers but the flowers themselves look so real even though they're like baby blue but they just don't look like plastic if that makes sense so that's amazing and then another thing that I didn't even know until I got this delivered was that the bottom drawer is just like storage which I love storage in any way um so I was like that's amazing I had no idea that you could actually put stuff in here so for right now it doesn't look too beautiful but I just have like my Van Cleef boxes and like a little Dior card holder um just because I didn't really know where to put them but 
You could put like your lipsticks, you could put anything obviously in here, but I just absolutely love that it has like a storage component um, just because it's like functional. So I'm obsessed with this. They did give me a discount code. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll put their website link as well as a discount code in case you want this. Um, just because, I mean, it's so nice. I don't have to like water them and you know, so I love this. I'm so happy they reached out just because I was like, had been looking forever to find a flower arrangement that will last and that I liked. So that was the first thing. The second thing on my list are coffee table books. I love coffee table books. I've I think I've loved them for a very long time. I know they're like pretty trendy right now. Like anytime I go on Pinterest or Instagram, I definitely have seen like obviously a lot. And there are a lot of coffee table books that I feel like everyone has, which I think is totally fine. But I personally love finding books. Like I just love coffee table books because you can definitely like pick whatever type of book and like create your own custom like vibe with them, if that makes sense. So Growing up, I had a ton of like the makeup ones. My mom would buy me like the Scott Barnes, Bobbi Brown, all those ones. And then I also have like a bunch of the Louis Vuitton and Chanel ones. So I still love those. But for me, I'm really into like architecture and interior design right now. And I just love the neutral in like inspo books, if that makes sense, for like interior design in houses. So I have a few that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I also have this one behind me. I don't know if you can really see, but it's actually the Jacques Mousse. Jacques Mousse, I don't know. Um, but I'm obsessed with it because it's like a nude beige linen with like little pink accents. So I don't ever really switch this out. I love this here for pictures. If you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen it a thousand times, but I'm obsessed with it. So I do love that. So I'd like to stick with neutral coffee table books and then the pops of color with like magazines or my purses or other little things so you can literally do whatever you want if you want everything to be a bright color make everything a bright color if you want everything to be white everything can be white but i think coffee table books are cool just because there are millions of them and they all have different covers and different like designs and just stuff like that so not only do i love them for display i also love reading through them so some of my favorites this one, I still haven't taken the plastic off, but I love the cover of this. So this is Live Beautiful by Athena Caldron. Just kind of like my my dream, um, my dream home. I don't know. A lot of these are like inspo to me. Um, this one is my newest one. This is Studio Co. Um, I don't know where I saw this, but I just think it's so beautiful and neutral. Um, and the pictures in here are like phenomenal. Well, all of these, the pictures are phenomenal. But I love this one. I love how big this one is and I just love stacking them and then whenever i'm bored i want to go back and read through them um another one of my favorite ones is nicole hollis hollis curated interiors this is actually like my dream family room i'm obsessed with marble fireplaces especially black marble fireplaces um and i love this black table with a little tree and just like the decor so i just love these because all three of those are like very much like what i envision my home to look like one day so i just like like having them and being able to go through um and take inspiration i also like i said love getting magazines and stacking magazines um especially because a lot of my magazines have like a colorful cover so i think that mixed in with the coffee table books is just like a really cool look and it really says i feel like a lot about you when you just do those little things i don't know if that makes sense i feel like i'm rambling i'm so sorry but this is something that i'm like i get so excited about and i'm not like doing anything crazy that's never been done like i feel like a lot of people do this but when you find like your collection of like little decor pieces and put them all together it's like it's so satisfying so next we're gonna talk about candles which may or may not be like some of my favorite things in the world i've always been a candle person i feel like so many of us are but I've kind of taken it to a new level because I not only love the experience of like burning a candle because I'm burning candles in here all the time, but using them as decor and then reusing them when I'm done with them. Overose is actually a brand that I just discovered. Um, I've seen them on Sephora for a while and I've seen other influencers have these as well as like the holographic candles, but I just kind of was never like I never thought the purple or the holographic like matched my 
decor. I really liked neutral ones like the Margiela. Um, I'll show you some other, but like Diptyque, Lalabo, stuff like that. But I went to go get a facial and when I walked in, it smelled so amazing. And I like looked in the coffee table and this was a candle they were burning. So this is aesthetic. It just smells really good. I don't know what, like a little floral, pretty sweet, a little fruity, a little warm. It's so good. Anyway, so I literally, as I was waiting for my um, facial, I ordered it on Sephora. As soon as I ordered this one and I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I found this one, which is Euphoriaism. Euphoriaism. I'll link them both down below, but that one is amazing. I think the description for that is like warm bakery croissants and then like cranberries or something, raspberries. I don't know, but it's so good. So I got over the fact that I don't love this color purple and I bought them because I love the smell of them. But then I also was kind of like, oh, I kind of like the purple because I have pink in here. I have green, I have blue. It's just cute. So I like having pops of color and these are some of my favorite candles. And then I wanted to let you guys know my other favorite candles because I always get questions on Instagram of like what my favorite scents are. So from Overose, those are my two favorites. Those are the only ones I've smelled from them. I also love this one from Le Labo, Fig 15. It's just like fig and coconut, but it's not my favorite out of everything. I normally like pretty sweet vanilla scents, but this one also just has like a very like mature, elevated, sophisticated scent. And I do like it. And then I love the jar of this. I think it's so cream, cream, <laughs> so like simple. It's cream. It's just like classic and just goes. Um, and of course I cannot not talk about my diptyque candles, which at the moment I don't think I have, I have like a brand new one I haven't opened. I'm not going to grab that. I don't have any ones that are candles right now. I'm actually going to, I guess, dive right into um, my usage of candles. So I love using these once I'm finished with them. So in my bathroom, I keep my Q-tips. I keep my cotton pads. This might be my favorite scent from them. This one in two bros. So I love keeping my makeup brushes, all of my travel perfumes. Um, and I like having them in like different parts of my room. So like I said, the two bathroom ones I have in the bathroom. There's like a buzz. Um, this one I keep with my makeup. This one I keep on my table by the door so I can grab a perfume as I'm leaving and put it in my purse. So that's what's so amazing is you can reuse these because these are pretty pricey. Like this one was like $100. Most of the other ones are like anywhere from like $50 to $70. Um, but I don't mind splurging on candles because I know I'm going to like get a ton of use out of them. And then when they're finished, I get to use their um, jar. So that is something that if you're spending money on candles, even if it's like a Bath and Body Works candle, you can always reuse the container and use it for storage, um, which I love having different types of jars as um, storage like even on my desk. This is another amazing candle. This is auto by Madeline and goats. I never know how to say it, but I keep like highlighters my scissors pens Like hand lotion on my desk with just everything and I just think it looks so cool So I love that another brand of candles the last brand of candles. I want to mention is M Mala, I don't know if it's Mala or Mala the brand um, These candles are so 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 cute just like the tin um, my favorite one from them is Strawberry Shortcake. I probably have like five or six different scents. This one's my favorite. This is my second one. Even without burning this, you can smell it like when you walk by. It's really sweet though. If you don't like sweet scents, you're not gonna like it. But I love that. So candles are something I'm just so passionate about. <laughs> so I get really excited and I, I just love spending money on candles. So moving on from candles. Um, I kind of touched on bathroom with the little Q-tip holder and the cotton round holder by talking about reusing your candle jars. Um, but another thing that makes a space a little bit more elevated is getting a matching soap and hand lotion set. So I love doing this just because I feel like it makes your bathroom kind of feel more like a hotel instead of just having like one soap or a mismatched soap and lotion, if that makes sense. So in our master bathroom, I use the Aesop soap and lotion. These are my favorite scents from Aesop. Um, for the soap, I get the Resurrection, which is Mandarin Rind, Rosemary Leaf, and Cedar Atlas. This is my favorite soap. And then my favorite lotion from them, this is the Rejuvenate Intensive Body Balm, which is Tangerine, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. 
I love these so much and I love how like amazing these look in your bathroom. Like they really make you feel like you're in like a really, really nice hotel. So not only are they like amazing products, um, but they just like kind of make your space look a little bit cooler and just more like refined. Um, so I love these, my boyfriend loves them. So that's what we have in our main bathroom. And then in my closet bathroom, I have the whey soap and hand lotion, which I bought specifically because I loved the bottles so much. I think these ones are so just like feminine and clean and neutral. Um, the other ones are a little bit obviously like more masculine and dark. So that's why it works in our bathroom because it's mine and my boyfriend's bathroom, whereas my bathroom here is like lighter colors and just a little bit more simple so i absolutely love these they also smell amazing so it's not like you're just like getting them for the bottle they also just are great products i also keep this on my desk the byredo tulip mania hand lotion and all over pinterest i see people with the Bi byredo soap and hand lotion so this is my one of my favorite scents from them but i feel like byredo i like it and then i just don't like the scent anymore so I don't know, but the bottles are so, so pretty. Okay, this is super random, but it's also a bathroom product, like a bathroom decor slash function thing. <laughs> so this is a toothbrush holder. These are my toothbrushes. So I always, I never had a toothbrush holder because I used, I just would have my like Philips Sonicare that was on its charging stand. Um, but when I got Invisalign, my teeth were so sensitive that I would just have to use like a regular toothbrush. Like it couldn't do the Sonicare. So, I was like planning on just using one of these for my toothbrush and then I was like thinking I was like ew but like your toothbrush is usually like wet like I don't dry my toothbrush off really like you know and then I was like does the water just go to the bottom and like get gross so I was like okay maybe not so I would literally just like leave my toothbrush on the counter like this with the head like in my sink if that makes sense and then I was just like googling um toothbrush holders that like don't hold water and I found this one on Amazon and it's a ceramic toothbrush holder it comes in a bunch of colors but of course I went with like the most neutral beige color um, and it absorbs all the water so there's no water at the bottom it doesn't smell there's nothing like whatever because it just absorbs it so I love this it's super like obviously like affordable just like something random that I would have never thought about to get and I've never seen anyone else have this specific one or anything like this so I'm gonna link it down below. I think it's a great thing to have, especially if you use like a regular toothbrush and you like don't wanna collect all the water from it into a cup. So I don't know, it's very random, but I love it. Okay, the last thing is a glass carafe that I've actually never used. I bought for decoration and I was like, oh, I'll probably use it, but I never do. Um, I love this. I think it's so pretty and having like different textures, like whether it's glass, you know what I mean? like just makes things look a little bit like more interesting to look at. Um, my mom always has these in her house. She's always had them and they're always full with like fresh clean water. I don't know how she has the time to like refill them and clean them, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I was gonna maybe keep water in here and like drink it at my desk. I don't, um, but I love the way this looks, but I hope one day I actually get some use out of this. But you could even like fill this with water and put like a flower in there. I just like love the texture of the glass. I just like love how it looks on my desk. I just wish I was able to like get some use out of it, so yeah okay you guys that was it for my little home decor favorites i hope it was like something interesting or you found something that you would want to buy i hope it wasn't just something that you're like okay this is like we've all seen this before you know this is nothing new like i said it's not groundbreaking i just wanted to show you guys my personal favorite hand soap my favorite candles my favorite coffee table books um but i'm gonna go ahead and Put everything back in its place and just show you one of my tables that has like the most going on i guess so you guys have a better idea of like how i style things nowhere near done it's not perfect blah 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 i get it but i'm just gonna show you guys so yeah okay so really quickly i just wanted to go over a little bit of how i just set this up i just used like an hermes box on top of a book and then i put um this little necklace holder that has some of my necklaces from my boyfriend and like my candles, obviously my bags. I'm not doing a room tour, I just wanna show you guys how I little like style little things. So then I put the candles here. This one's actually amazing, I didn't mention this, but this is the triple sack from Dry Bar. 
10 out of 10. And then I got this little thing from Anthropology and I just put some matches and like a lighter in there. This is actually the table that I was saying I was gonna show you guys. So I keep my slippers, like my house slippers or slides under here, but this is the kind of way I styled this. I hope the lighting is okay. So I have my flowers here, I have like my candles, obviously my beer bricks. I use my bag as decor because why not? I just like setting up candles all over kind of. Um, that way I can just like burn one here and there. And then I keep my perfumes in here just cause I like to switch them out. And then this might be like my favorite part. So this is just a Chanel box of like that I got in the mail when I ordered like skincare or nail polish or something. I always switch this out with different snacks, but currently my favorite are these chips from Trader Joe's, but sometimes it's like popcorn, you know, peanut butter pretzels, whatever it is. I like to have them in my room just because I eat snacks all the time when I'm in here. And then this bottom row, I didn't want it to be too chaotic, but I have like the one coffee table. I feel like the lighting is so bad, but this is the coffee table book. I just have like a little Bottega box on there for now. Um, but I change this out all the time. So I have like some magazines. Um, oh, I have a lot of architect di architectural digests. And then I have these other two coffee books that I just showed you guys. And then this little bowl I got from Target. And then I just keep my face masks in here just because I'm constantly obviously grabbing them and switching them out as I leave. So yeah, this is a table. It's definitely not like perfect and not like totally aesthetically pleasing. Like it's kind of just chaotic. But for me, it's also about like function. So like having the masks, even though they don't look the most amazing, having my snacks because I really need to eat them. Um, and then also just keeping it like fun. I love this. I definitely think it showcases my personality. And then to the left of that table, I have this little thing. I have a bunch of backup candles up there, um, but these are some of my other coffee table books, some more Hermes boxes. This one is one of my favorites. This is the Balenciaga Winter 18. I love that. I need to get like lights or something because it's so dark, but my amazing perfume <laughs> collection, all the Harajuku and everything, I love it. It's like very young, but like, you know, I love it. And then I have like sunglasses and jewelry. So yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.